Yeah, yeah it's going to be here. Yep. Hey, I'm optimistic. Yeah. Right. I use big words like that on me. I like to use big words too because I like to sound photosynthesis as well. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. You have to put sucking the exhaust on that for you. can see it. You go. Yeah. You can see it. Slow down, buddy. Because you're catching way too many fumes. Or something. Well, when you think about it, some sort of accidents, we do create okay. a photosynthesis. Sorry, trying to... Right? We, we do. We turn it in, you know, we process it, and turn it into vitamin D. I even take about, extra vitamin D. You're talking about producing vitamin D, you know, so I'll agree with that. I, I take extra vitamin D. We just don't turn green. <laughs> You oh. should take extra vitamin D because even those people in Hawaii are vitamin D deficient. So everybody should take vitamin D. You know what's funny is I used to work in a bronze foundry years ago and we the data lander and you know all these statues that you see around the bronze statue, I built those. And you go in there in the summertime and I have a bandana, I wear a bandana and I my world and you got a grinder. And you get those little bronze flakes fly everywhere. And they get up under your Sweat. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, sorry, I've got a few people I know that we have some of our texts that people are logging on. So you have nothing else. I know that they're logging on. Are we doing this? I'm like, yes, I'm sorry. No. Maybe from us. Okay. Quite possible. Yes. Slow down. Yeah, slow down. Giving them a couple of minutes. Too many systems. Too many systems. Too many systems. Too many systems. Oh, right. <laughs> this, this is for your toothache. Oh, hey, thank you. There you go. Be, be sure and use that so you can masticate properly. Masticate? Yeah. Yeah. Not around you. Whoa! Wait. <laughs> I didn't know what masticate means. <laughs> that's something to do with beating the wrong way. No. Masticate. Oh, that's <laughs> for masticate. Yeah. Masticate is chewing. Uh, yep. Well, I see. You. You knew, you, you knew you were going. hanging out for I, like, I'm just I did not want to learn these kind of words I don't even want to know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, I've always had to with that because everybody thinks you're saying something yeah. different. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Fred. You're welcome. Can we take all the presentation from you <laughs> earlier that we can send it to We're only here for a couple more days. So send it two times for Yeah, yeah. got enough for the week. I might come in tomorrow. Can you take forever? Well, I mean, it's dead, but we've got people. Yeah. I've only got four people on so far, but at least I know that Texas was. I just said I'm going to give yes. it a couple more minutes, and then we'll, yeah. then we'll start it. So, so I got like two minutes. I've got the camera, so if you're in line to the camera, you're on camera right now on YouTube, just so you know. Did you sign up for the drawing? Because we'll pull that drawing as well. Oh, no, you locked me out of that, too. I locked you out of that, too. What drawing? For the door prizes. We have some door prizes back there. Yep. I wonder if any of the shop. Thanks, Jerry. You got it. Okay, when does the movie start? Toy Story 4 will be on in 20 minutes. I am the I am the heckler. How bad are you, brother? Oh wow. I couldn't get it to go back to the main screen. I don't know why. I'm going to help you for your password, but I want to get this started first. It's not doing anything at all? No. Oh, wait, here. That's because I where is my mouse over there. Is it working now? There you go. I did Yeah, I don't know why it won't go to one, but. Because I put from the beginning, to start from the beginning. All right, so you're you guys are on mute, so you don't have volume yet. I mean, see where it's at. Give our presentation here. So, okay, I'm going to unmute it. All right, for those of you that are out there online, we are going to start our presentation. Um, we have got our open enrollments presentation. We have
Jenny and Sharon, and we have Sam with 401k that'll follow us up at the end. For those of you that are online, we are doing a giveaway. We'll pull that at the end of this tonight so everybody knows who it is. If you have good comments that are interactive, I'll add you into the drawing as well. So if you guys wanna go ahead and start, I'll we'll do that. Okay, we got people online too, so just so you know. Sounds good. Good evening. <laughs> Thanks for being here this afternoon. Um, I'd like to talk with you about the um, 2020 open enrollment uh, information. And um, Kim, do you want to fix the clicker? Is that what the clicker is already? Click on the black screen over there. There we go. So we'll be talking today about the, uh, the medical plan with three different um, benefit offerings, um, same plans essentially that you have today. Uh, we'll talk about the health savings account as well as the uh, employer match contribution available in your HSA. Uh, other plans, we'll talk about dental, uh, vision as a new uh, carrier with some enhanced coverage, uh, life at ED&D, disability, voluntary and life and critical illness uh, plans. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Jenny and she can uh, talk with us about um, the medical plan with Blue Cross Blue Shield. All right, good evening. We're gonna go through this a little bit faster than we went through earlier. So we eliminate a few slides, be respectful of time. So um, Jenny Cleveland from Blue Cross, came out from Minnesota um, with Amy and Kim. Um, we work together with Sharon to make sure you guys have the best plans and the right plans. and. How you guys are using them so fyi everybody's getting new id cards this year two phone numbers are coming off of the back of the card nurse line and eap are coming off of the back of the card um, because most of our members are already using nurse line through the doctor's office so they don't use our nurse line um, and eap you guys have a fantastic resource for eap through metlife um, if you don't know what eap is it's employee assistance program so they help with things that stress you mentally that really are preventing you from being the best employee um, it's confidential, um, but they can help with things like uh, daycare, um, mental health counseling if, if you need, if you're having like a family issue or maybe like I was said earlier, fighting over a property line with a neighbor. I mean, these are all things that stress you mentally on a daily basis. Um, legal issues, they can give guidance and direction there. So just make sure that you utilize your EAP resources um, when you run into these types of things. Um, the other thing is is that we're removing a logo off the front of the ID card because the fitness discount program is going away and we're going to talk about the fitness incentive program that's replacing it. Your ID number, your group number is all staying the same. So um, this time of year a lot of people have questions as to what's, my, what's the best plan for me. So starting point, go out to bluecrossmnonline.com. Can't miss it, it is on every single page of this resource guide. It's on the back of your ID card. Um, or you can also download the Blue Cross MN app and sign them that way. Track your claims, see your deductible, see a sign of care. Um, really important for the drivers too because it's got GPS tracking in the app so you can actually find doctors um, on the road so that you know that when, whether you're here or in another state um, that you have your in-network providers. All of the health and wellness tools and resources are out here as well. So talking about your network, um, and finding doctors and utilizing it. You guys are on our broadest national network, which is the Blue Card PPO network. So across the United States, you have access to 95% of hospitals, or 95% of providers, and 96% of hospitals as in-network providers. This is for non-emergency care. Emergency care is emergency care regardless of where you are. You go in through the emergency room, it's gonna cover as an in-network benefit, or via ambulance, it's gonna cover as an in-network benefit. Um, so when you're finding a doctor, make sure that you're using doctors that are in network. You're going to get your best benefit that way. Um, you can go to doctors out of network, but it's going to cost you substantially more. You also have coverage internationally. Um, we have contracts in over 200 countries. So if you're traveling internationally, you can get make your benefits through Blue Cross. Um, or you can also purchase very inexpensively travel plans too. So if that's ever a concern that you're thinking about international coverage, let us know and we can give you resources for that. Your pharmacy benefits. Um, so when you're looking at pharmacy benefits, we also have a pharmacy network. So you guys are on our classic pharmacy network. It's a broad network. Um, the one pharmacy that is out of network for us is CVS. It's not that we don't like CVS, it's just we signed a long-term contract with Walgreens so we could get you guys deeper discounts. So Walgreens is our anchor pharmacy. Um, 
but and they're also our partner when it comes to mail order prescriptions and I've been helping people look up prescriptions today and they've been finding out that if they switch to mail order they can get substantially better savings so helped a number of people get their pharmacy um, benefits moved over to mail order and save them a chunk of money um, from what they're paying today and you get the convenience of it just mailing to your house <laughs> Um, the formulary is the KRX formulary, so a little bit different. It's, it's the same formulary that you have today, but it's just, it's tiers. Meaning, and it's a closed formulary, meaning it has to be on the drug list to have coverage for it. Um, you get your best benefit when you use tier one drugs. It's a little bit, the tier two drugs are a little bit more expensive, um, and the tier three drugs are the most expensive. Um, if you are needing a very specific drug that is not on the formulary, your doctor can help file a prior authorization request, which is essentially an appeal of the benefits and state the medical reason why. So there is options for that too. Really cool benefit that Blue Cross of Minnesota has taken on. Um, we took on, we're taking on diabetes as a epidemic that's crushing our country right now, really to, to say. Um, insulin costs keep skyrocketing. So one thing that um, our legislature did was they wanted to help people drive down the cost of insulin. So Blue Cross of Minnesota took it by, the, by took the bull by the horns, really. Um, and we've opted to cover tier one and tier two insulin at no charge to our members. 100% covered by Blue Cross of Minnesota. So if you were on insulin, that's a really big deal. Um, they're available out on our website too, so you can check to see which insulin drugs are covered. <clears throat> so you have three plan options available to you. So you have a, $2,500 deductible with co-pays. You have two high deductible plans um, with 100% coverage after deductible. So the 25, we're gonna spend a little bit of time on this slide. With the way that this works, um, there's kind of a sweet spot in between when a co-pay plan makes more sense than a high deductible health plan. And there's some resources that are in this guide that helps you look at what your costs are. Um, the time that this makes sense, especially when you're looking at the Premium cost, that's first and foremost the cost that you want to look at is what are my premium costs going to be for myself, myself and my children, my spouse and I, and family. Um, a lot of people actually this time of year and in this market are actually looking at splitting off onto each being on their own plan from their spouse and their, um, their selves. So that might be something that you want to look at too. So with this plan, if you're the type of person who um, needs a lot of specialist visits, needs a lot of office visits, um, it may make more sense to be on this plan because when you're going in, you're gonna pay that $40 a visit when you're going in for that. So for example, I'm going to physical therapy right now. My physical therapy is $400 an appointment. So if I'm paying $400 an appointment after negotiated prices, 10 appointments is $4,000. On this plan, 10 appointments is $400. So, those are those things that you have to take a look at. So when you go in, anything that is not preventive underneath the $2,500 plan is gonna be subject to that $40 copay. If you utilize doctor on demand or convenience clinics, minute clinics, it's gonna be a $20 copay. Um, anything that's major medical, lab, x-ray, um, emergency room, inpatient care, outpatient care, these are the things that apply to the deductible. That's when that $2,500 comes into play on this. If I had an inpatient stay, $2,500, then after that I pay 20%, Blue Cross pays the remainder 80% until I get my out-of-pocket of, of 5,500. Everything underneath this plan does go to the out-of-pocket. Um, Co-pays go to the out-of-pocket, they do not apply to the deductible. Your prescriptions, tier one drugs are $15, tier two drugs are $50, and tier three drugs are $100. The other two plan offerings that you have are going to be a $4,500 plan and a $6,000 plan. The deductible and the out-of-pocket on these match. So once you've hit your deductible, you've also hit your out-of-pocket. These plans often make sense for people who generally go into the doctor a couple of times a year, um, are usually very healthy people, or if I know I'm having something major where I'm going to hit my out-of-pocket. That's where these plans make a lot of sense. Um, you also get an HSA match on these plans. Now, everything is gonna to apply to deductible. I do wanna remind you that we have contracted negotiated rates. On average, our negotiated rates are 40 to 60% savings off of the cash rate that the doctor is gonna charge. So those are steep rate premium, or premium, steep discounts we have in place with our doctors, just through the power of Blue Cross. 
All of these plans cover preventive care at 100%. So make sure you're going in for your routine care. Make sure you're going in for your cholesterol checks, your um, glucose checks, your blood pressure check, your pre-cancer screenings, colonoscopies, um, if there's any women out there, um, 3D mammograms are also covered at 100% underneath the plan, or if you have a spouse on the plan, that's a big deal. Um, so make sure you're going in for those on a routine basis. One caveat I always say with routine care is if you go in for routine care and you start talking to them about a true illness or injury, the office visit is now going to be coded as an illness or injury because you really did bring in something that is not just routine. All of that testing that they're doing for cholesterol and lipids and stuff like that, that's all still going to be covered as routine, but the office visit is going to be changed to an office visit. Um, do you want to cover this really quick? Sure. The premiums? Yeah, so um, so listed are the, uh, the 2020 medical uh, rates, and um, just wanted to share with you that we were able to keep the rates um, without any changes. So you'll see the $2,500 deductible plan, the employee coverage ranges from $120,162, um, up to $600.52 per peak period. Um, this is a big deal because many other employers are in seeing uh, rate increases, um, but it really has to do with um, the claims utilization, and uh, Jenny will talk about that in just a minute. But um, just a, a really big deal that we're able to keep the rates um, sound without any changes. Is it pay period? Pay period. Pay period. Yeah. It's in the benefit guide, too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you don't have to memorize this screen. So what does that mean to you? Um, if you are on a family coverage plan, on that $2,500 deductible with copay, you're gonna pay $14,412 in premium annually. On the $4,500 deductible plan, you're gonna pay $5,159 in premium annually. And in the $6,000 plan, you're gonna pay $3,573. If the wheels were to fall off for your entire family and you hit the full out of pocket, on that $2,500 plan, that's $11,000 in out-of-pocket expenses. Add the out-of-pocket and the premium together, that plan just costs you $25,000 to have those four dollars It's a very rich plan benefit-wise, and it's a very expensive plan benefit-wise. Um, on the $4,500 plan, if everybody on the plan were to hit the out-of-pocket, it would be $14,000, and on the $6,000 plan, it's gonna be $15,000. So those are just numbers to keep in mind. Not saying that the wheels are gonna fall off, but just so that you're aware of putting those costs together when you're putting pen to paper and figuring out what are your best plan options for you. Um, as Sharon said, the way that we use our plans impacts what we pay in premium tomorrow because our plans are, are claims-based plans. Um, so the way that we can help you guys keep your premiums down over time is really being an advocate for yourself being a consumer of healthcare. People spend more time shopping for jeans than they do for healthcare, which is an astonishing statistic. Um, so Doctor on a Man is a really great way to be able to save money. They have medical visits as well as mental health visits. Medical visits through the end of the year are $48. Um, mental health visits range, whether you're doing psychology or psychiatry, um, but they're still substantially less than in a face-to-face -face visit in that office. Um, Medical visits after the first day of the year are going to be around 53. We haven't finished negotiating our prices, but they will not exceed $53. These treat the top 17 conditions that end up in urgent care and emergency rooms after hours. Strep throat, pink eye, UTIs, sinus infections, um, flu, allergies. So just a, a lot of different things that you can utilize them for. You can even utilize them. I, I used to use it. My daughter had a growth underneath her tongue, and I didn't know if I'd go to the internal medicine doctor or where I need to go, an oral surgeon. How do I get to an oral surgeon? So I used them for $48, got a referral to the oral surgeon. So um, really great benefit there for you. Mental health is available next day. Um, they can prescribe medications, too, in all 50 states. Um, so if you're traveling, they can prescribe it right down the road for you. Convenient clinics, minute clinics, a lot of, um, even though CVS is out of network, a lot of CVS minute clinics are in network for us. Their pharmacy's out, but their minute clinics are in. So if you're traveling and you find a CVS minute clinic, um, they're gonna be less expensive, but a lot of our providers have minute clinics inside of them now as well. Um, Walmart and Sam's Club okay. and different places do too. Office visits, get in for your routine health. Um, and guys, 
the, one of the things that I have learned to equate this with, because guys usually understand cars, you take your car in for its oil change every 3,000 miles, or you do it yourself, whatever. You change your oil every 3,000 miles. If your car is 10 to 15,000 miles over the oil change, things are going to start breaking down. Same thing with your body. You're not going in for your routine care. You're 10 to 15,000 miles over your oil change. So get in for your routine care. That's what it's there for. Urgent care after hours. I mean, there are things that just come up after hours and you need to get in for it. It's always going to cost you less to get in during the day, so try to schedule a visit during the day if you can. And by all means, um, if you have a bone protruding from your body or if you're having a heart attack, that's what the emergency room is for. Um, it, is, it is for those catastrophic situations. Average emergency room visit that does not get admitted to a patient is $1,100. So that sinus infection just costs you a ton of money. Um, so we have a ton of tools and resources available to you. These are all in the guide as well. Um, a really important one, stress, anxiety, depression, insomnia. They are some of the biggest things that are affecting us today in our country. Um, all of these things manifest themselves internally. So if you're leaving these things unchecked, um, they are going to cause other issues. So we have a program available for you. It's an online-based program. You take a questionnaire, it takes about 20 minutes, same question over and over until it comes to the underlying condition and it creates an online-based program for you. For these cognitive behavioral health programs, it is found as effective as face-to-face -face counseling. It's meant <laughs> not to replace a doctor, but it's meant to help people put the tools in their toolboxes to be able to deal with these conditions. Um, talked a little bit about the fitness discount going away. <coughs> We're replacing it with a step-based program called a fitness incentive. January 1st, this is going to be available to you. It's important that you follow the steps that are in the guide. Kim and I went through this earlier today. We're going to do some um, videos that we're going to release later in the year too, right around January 1st, that you guys make sure that you're getting in the right way. Um, but follow this step-by-step -step guide. You have to hit 7,500 steps out of 21 days out of the month. It's on a calendar month basis. Um, you will earn $20 in reward. So you track your steps either through the Blue Cross Share Care app or through bluecrossmnonline.com. Um, the reward comes in the form of an online gift card. It's well over 100 different options that you can choose from, and it's not Joe's Sporting Goods in Minnesota. It's Amazon, Target, Best Buy, Cabela's, a number of different options. Um, so it's a really great program for you, so take advantage of it. Um, it's available for up to two adults on the plan, so if there's two adults on it, um, that's $480 a year just for being active. Um, and we want to make it attainable for you. 7,500 steps is actually less than the recommended 10,000 steps by the CDC. We've even given you step conversion charts. So there's things in here that you can even convert your, your steps on. Like, snow tomorrow, 181 steps a minute. Um, and then just for being able to cross member, there's this great program that's called Blue 365. The deals change every week. It's kind of like a group on for health plan. But you can see that there's things like travel benefits, Nutrisystem, um, fitness. There's a Fitness My Way, which is $29 a month, and you have access to 10,000 gyms. Like Snap Fitness and Planet Fitness are both participants in this. Um, so you could access both of them for the $29 a month. Wearables, Fitbits, LASIK, dental care, acupuncture, massages, tons of stuff. So check it out. Um, I'm sure they're going to be doing a Black Friday deal too because they did last year. So check it out on Black Friday. And then the last program we're going to talk about is a pre diabetes intervention program. Um, so two thirds of Americans either have type 2 diabetes or are at risk for type 2 diabetes. So, what this program is meant to do is it's meant to turn back the clock for those people who are at risk for it. You do have to be on the health plan for this. You take an online assessment, it's like six questions, might ask a couple more just based on a couple other things. It looks at things like your BMI, your family history, other risk factors. If you're found to be at risk for it, you get this pretty snazzy um, cellular, cellular enabled scale. You step on it three times and it's ready to go. You get a health coach and then you um, are assigned a group of people that are at risk for the same reasons that you are. It's a 16 week engagement program. It's meant to get back to the basics. It looks at the holistic approach from water to stress to sleep to just how to real label. Um, and the ultimate goal is for you to lose three to five percent of your body weight. All of these programs are free to you as a Blue Cross member. 15 minutes. That's good. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'd like to talk with you about the health savings account. So uh, the health savings account um, works in conjunction with the high deductible health plan. So in order to um, have the health savings account, you must enroll in the high deductible health plan. Whoops. 
Sorry, I have here, I'm doing something to hopefully change the volume and the, they're having problems online, so. Okay, oh, they can't hear us? Okay. Well, it wasn't that they could, they could hear other yeah, people so talking. Yeah, you're going to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, do you want me to go? Is that difficult? <laughs> Should I continue on or? Um, yep, yeah, go ahead, on. try that. Okay. So, the health savings account offers triple tax savings. Uh, first of all, the contributions come out of your paycheck, a pre-tax. <coughs> save about 25% on the, the pre-tax deduction. So if you think of a $100 bill, it takes you $75 to purchase $100 worth of, of uh, services. Um, in the interest on this, the health savings account is tax-free, and then any withdrawals for qualified expenses are tax-free as well. Um, if you uh, uh, were to leave Prairie Field Services, you can take the, the HSA account with you. Any money that you have put into the account as well as any money that Prairie Field Services has put into the account. Uh, this is your account to take with you. You can use your, um, who is eligible to contribute, you must be enrolled in a high deductible health plan. You cannot be a dependent on a non-qualified high deductible plan or a health savings account. So if you're uh, waiving the Prairie Field Services medical plan, you're covering your spouse's plan, for example, or another insurance plan, that would prohibit you from making HSA contributions. Or if your spouse has access to a flexible spending account, that would prohibit you from making contributions there as well. You cannot be enrolled in any part of Medicare or a dependent on another person's tax return. The IRS determines the amount you can deposit into your HSA each year. For single coverage, it is $35.50 for the 2020 plan year and $7,100 for family coverage. Any individuals age 55 and older may make an uh, additional contribution of $1,000 as a catch-up contribution. And I just want to point out that the employer maximum uh, as well as the employee contributions both count towards the IRS maximum. So you'll want to be mindful of that so that you do not uh, have an over contribution. When you're making your benefit elections in ADP, you'll enter in your uh, per pay period or annual election and it will automatically calculate the employer contribution. Now, um, Prairie Field Services did enhance the uh, employer match for the health savings account this year. So uh, the increase is $10 per month at $5 per pay period. So for those of you who are enrolled in the $4,500 HSA, or 6,000 HSA, you will receive an employer match contribution as long as you're making a HSA contribution. So for an individual, if you're making $30, uh, $30 contribution in the 4,500, Prairie Field Services would also kick in $30. If you're contributing $10, then Prairie Field Services would match $10. So it's a dollar per dollar match up to the amount of $30. $30. Eligible expenses, you can use your health savings account for eligible medical uh, expenses such as deductibles, such as um, um, uh, deductibles as far as um, other medical services, if you have any, uh, um, any uh, x-rays or MRIs or that those type of services, you can use your HSA for that. You can also use it for dental, if you have any crowns or if you have any fillings, uh, extractions. Uh, orthodontic expenses, you can use your HSA there too. You can use it for vision expenses. If you purchase glasses or contacts, uh, you can use it for non-covered expenses. You can also use it for eligible dependent expenses for yourself and for your spouse and children, um, even if they're not covered under the medical insurance plans. The HSA is, uh, is a great plan because you can use it for expenses in the future. You can use it for long-term care premiums or COBRA premiums, um, as well as any future medical, dental, or vision expenses. Just so you're aware, expenses that are not covered would be over-the-counter medications or cosmetic general health items. You can find the list of qualified expenses on the irs.gov website. You can take money from your HSA account at any time. I do highly recommend that you keep receipts. Um, in the event of an audit, you would have to prove that it was an eligible expense that you uh, pulled out of your health savings account. You're not taxed as long as you for, use it for eligible expenses. 
And if you use the account for non-eligible expenses, you would have a 20% excise tax when you file your taxes. The money in the HSA use is a use it, uh, pardon me, the money your HSA rolls over from year to year, you never lose that account. Dental insurance is the same dental plan that you have today. You're enrolling in one dental plan. There are different network available uh, options available, but it's one dental plan. Um, you have an annual maximum benefit of $2,000. Just want to share with you, this is a very generous benefit. Other employer groups that I work with have a, um, an average of 1,000, even up to 1,250 is a benefit maximum, but you have a very generous plan. You're at $2,000. Essentially what that means is every single person that's covered under the dental plan has access to $2,000 of covered services. You can have your teeth cleaned twice a year, every six months, and that's uh, covered at no charge. And then if you have other services, you would pay a percentage, and then the dental plan would also pay a percentage of those services. Your plan also offers orthodontia for dependent children under age 18. The dental rates are staying the same as well. Uh, for single coverage, uh, your cost is uh, zero. And you can find the providers on their website, www.deltadentalmn.org. The vision plan, um, there's a change to the vision plan this year and it's changing to VSP. So with VSP, uh, there has been an enhancement where um, an eye exam is now offered, offered through the vision plan. Also wanted to remind you, the eye exam is also covered under the health plan as a preventive visit. In the event you ever needed more than one exam per year, you could then use the vision plan for your exam with a $20 copay. Your frames, you would be offered a $150 allowance towards frames, as well as a discount above that at a 20% discount. Your lenses, you would pay a copay for. And if anybody has progressive lenses, that would be the no line bifocal, uh, you would pay a copay for that. Uh, contact lenses are available with a $150 allowance. The most common contact lens these days are disposable lenses. Um, anything above $150, you would pay as an out-of-pocket expense. Um, your frames, your eyeglass lenses, and contact lenses can each be changed um, every year. But you have a one lens option, so you can either change your eyeglass lenses or your contact lenses each year. If you are an individual who wears both glasses and contacts, you may wish to put uh, money in your health savings account to reimburse yourself for that out-of-pocket expense. The vision rate is listed here. For single coverage, uh, the employee cost is zero. And to find a provider, you'll go to the website, www.vsp.com. Group life and AD&D coverage with MetLife. So Prairie Field Services offers your uh, life insurance and ad and which stands for Accidental Death and Dismemberment, at a rate of uh, $50,000 at no cost to you. And this is offered by your employer. In addition, you have the ability to purchase additional life insurance for yourself, your spouse, and your children. Uh, this is an employee provided benefit. If you are already enrolled in the Voluntary Life Program, you could increase one increment, which is $10,000, without having to provide any medical information as long as you're within the guarantee issue. So essentially what that means is for employees, um, if you are enrolled in less than $100,000 of coverage today, you can increase up uh, $10,000 without having to complete medical information. You can enroll in coverage um, in $10,000 increments up to $500,000 or five times your earnings. Spouse coverage, you may enroll your spouse in 5,000 increments up to $250,000. And then uh, child coverage is available in increments up to $10,000. If you are not enrolled in voluntary life today and you'd like to enroll, you will complete the evidence of insurability form. Essentially what the evidence of insurability form is, is it's a health questionnaire. You'll respond to a series of health questions, and then that would be provided to the insurance company for consideration of uh, increased coverage. Once the approval came in, Kim would then increase your amount in payroll and then begin the deduction. 
Short-term and long-term disability are provided by uh, Prairie Field Services. Short-term disability would cover you if you are medically unable to work at a rate of 60% of your weekly earnings up to $2,500 per week. Uh, the benefits would begin after a seven-day elimination period. The most common usages of the short-term disability would be for a surgery leave, if you're medically unable to work, uh, or for a, um, a, a pregnancy leave. Long-term disability would be if you were medically unable to work for an extended period of time. Perhaps you had a back surgery or a more intensive uh, surgery or illness where you were unable to work. There would be a 90-day elimination period and you would receive 60% of your monthly earnings to a maximum of $10,000 per month. Now this is the plan that actually could continue until the Social Security normal retirement age. And next we have some voluntary benefits with MetLife. We're gonna jump right through here. If you have questions, uh, stop me. I guess I'm backwards, I gotta be on this side of the screen. Accident and critical illness is guaranteed issue if for you and your family. You only need to enroll during this enrollment period and you have to be actively at work, working 30 hours a week. You can cover your employees, spouse, dependent children, and you have to enroll in order for you to cover your dependents. Any questions? Don't want you guys to go to sleep. The accidents are outlined as, as below. You can see we pay for a lot of the accident stuff. It also has the um, accidental death, um, common carrier, catastrophic loss, if you lost arms or legs or whatever, that would pay that. And this is an off-the-job accident coverage. We just kind of give you a claim scenario that if you were in, you had an accident, you were in an ambulance, an emergency care, you saw the physician, concussion, broken teeth, you literally could get paid $1,350. Keep in mind, MetLife pays this directly to you. It is not paid to the hospital or the doctor, and it's to help you offset cost of living and to help you get through that high deductible. Critical illness is for a specific coverage. There's like 26 conditions that are covered. The coverage that you choose is either 10, 20, or $30,000, and if you have a heart attack, they will pay you, for example, if you chose the $10,000, they'll write you a check for $10,000. Because it pays out three times, if you have a stroke the next year, they'll write you a check again for the $10,000 to try and help you offset living expenses and keeping your family intact. You just have to have proof of diagnosis it's not reimbursement based. So if you have a heart attack and your doctor says you did, it's just proof of diagnosis and they'll write the check to you. I think the most important one that's been added in the last year is the Alzheimer's. My mother had Alzheimer's and was in the nursing home for three years. And so it's kind of nice to see the insurance companies uh, do that. On these particular benefits, they all, a coronary artery bypass uh, some of them, they do not pay out the third time. They pay a half of the benefit or no recurrence on kidney failure. But the major ones are going to be paid out three times. Questions? Keep in mind that if you take out the critical illness policy, there is a $100 wellness, even though your wellness is costing you nothing through your health care. And if you have the accident plan, they pay $50 for wellness. And it's a very simple thing. All you have to do is call MetLife and tell them who you saw and what, you, what your screening was for, and they write you a check. They don't even call the doctor. They're pretty trustworthy because they're hoping that everybody will start doing routine physicals. Back to you. Quick reminder, I told them in the group earlier today, don't forget to check your beneficiaries on your life insurance. We think nothing changes. But sometimes it does. Right. go to the wrong person. So just lastly, um, I just wanted to talk with you about the, um, the iBenefits. This is a program that's available to you on the go. Uh, and uh, this is a program where you would be able to log in on your um, mobile device and you'll be able to see all the benefit plans that are offered to you. It's available on a, a global basis, so a plan basis. So it won't show you what you're specifically enrolled in. 
Next steps. Um, so uh, enrollment will go through December 9th and you will log into ADP to make your benefit elections. Um, so basically you go to your home screen, you click on open enrollment, follow the prompts. Um, as far as making your benefit elections, you will elect uh, vision, since there's a vision uh, carrier change. You'll also elect the um, health savings account because the health savings account must be elected each year. Other than that, the other benefits uh, will go ahead and roll over. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact um, Kim Ireland in Human Resources and she'd be happy to respond to your questions. Any questions that I can help you with? Were there any online questions, Kim? Uh, just um, the online answer. online questions, we did have a few of those. I answered them. Um, there are questions about the max amount that you can contribute to your HSA. So for individuals, it is um, 3550 For a family, it's 7100 I think you had 7700 7100 and then over 55, you get that additional makeup for that thousand, which I think you covered. Um, again, you have to make sure to go in and do your HSA and your vision, or else you will not have those come January 1. So make sure to do that. And I think that was. I answered all of them going in here, but I can't think of which other ones were on there. Um, oh yeah, and then also too with your HSA, don't forget that the employer match counts against, I shouldn't say against, but counts towards your um, max amount that you're allowed per year. And then that's not coming up there for whatever reason. this real quick there we go all right my name is sam rogers i'm uh the advisor on the prairie field services 401k plan uh as you all know we made a change from adp to securian uh earlier this year and the plan is now fully up and running and uh, just going to go over some of the details with that but before i dive into that just want to take a moment just talk about the benefit offering that you guys do have through prairie i think uh, speaking for myself and the others that have spoken today is it's a pretty robust offering, and uh, I don't think we've come across as many offerings that you guys have that are this generous. And so, uh, if, if anything, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So, um, we encourage you to reach out to us and ask questions and figure out what's going to be the best plan for you in terms of maximizing and optimizing your benefits. So, um, as the retirement plan goes, there is no open enrollment period. You can enroll at any time. And so again, we just encourage you to go ahead, get enrolled and start contributing to this plan immediately because there is a very generous uh, match from Prairie that you're gonna wanna start taking advantage of right away. So um, basically eligibility for the 401k plan, there's three months of service, um, you gotta be age 21. This is a big one here, this 100% immediate vesting. Essentially any match that is made by Prairie is your dollars. And so there's some companies that say, well, if you stick around for three years, then you'll get the match. That's not the case here. These dollars are yours. There's no gimmicks. There's no hidden agenda here. Put your money in, Prairie's gonna match it, and those dollars are gonna be yours right away. So, um, and then again, depending on <clears throat> the amount you're saving, you can do all that through the Securian website. Uh, contributions for this year, the government just uh, bumped it up again to say that we could do a maximum of 19,500. If you are over age 50, you can do a catch-up contribution of 6,500 as well. Uh, Pre-tax or Roth is an option. I'll get into that in a second. Um, contributions, this is the match that's provided by Prairie. So um, on, the first, uh, on the first 3% of the salary that you're gonna contribute, Prairie's gonna match 100% of that. So even if you still do 1%, they'll match 1%. You do two, they'll do two. And then they'll match 100% up to three. And then for the next 2%, they'll do 50 cents on the dollar. So if you do 4%, they're gonna do 3.5%. If you do five, they're gonna do 4%. And then any amount above that is additional that you're gonna put in, but their match is gonna be capped at 4%. So um, it's a pretty generous match. And again, the best thing is immediate. So again, you leave, if you were to leave Prairie in say three to six months, those dollars uh, will be yours. 
so this is an interesting conversation on whether we should do take advantage of the tax deduction that we can get by uh, contributing pre-tax, it's called, or after tax. Uh, the simplest way to think about this is basically through age. If we think our tax bracket is going to change probably in the next 10, 15, 20 years, there's going to be a good portion that we want to put into Roth dollars. Uh, there's a good chance the government could raise taxes on us, or if you think you're going to be making considerable more income in the future where your tax bracket is going to increase, that's where making uh, after-tax contributions would be nice. If you're a little later in the game and say you're 55 or 60 years old, or even in your 50s, and you say, I'm pretty much capped at what I'm going to do income-wise, probably makes sense to be in the pre-tax uh, contribution area. So um, it can get a little tricky thinking about that, but general rule of thumb, if you're young, try to diversify your tax situation with a little bit of Roth. If you're older, you can probably go all pre-tax. Any questions on that? Uh, how much do you save? Uh, this is, again, knowing we do get this match from Prairie, in an ideal world, we're immediately doing the 5% to get, to get the 4% match. Those are, that's free dollars that everyone should be taking advantage of. It's not, it's not rocket science. At the bare minimum, we want to try to do 3% into this plan because, again, you're going to get a 3% match from Prairie. We all can come up with excuses of, oh, next month I'm going to start saving. Next month I'm going to start saving. Just start doing it and start getting the match because the next month, there's always going to be something. So the sooner we can start getting these dollars out of our paychecks and out of our checking accounts and into a vehicle like this, the, the happier we're going to be down the road. So another cool feature on the Security <coughs> website is the annual increase of 1% every year. If you guys, are, you guys and women are like me, I need to fool myself into savings. And so what this is going to allow me to do is basically put it on that every January 1st, uh, my contribution is going to go up by 1% every year. So if I think about bumping my contribution up 5 to 6%, that's a pretty big jump, and I might notice that. Well, if I just do it 1% every year, over 4 to 5 years, all of a sudden now I'm contributing a lot more, which is, uh, which is like where you want to be. So um, it says until you reach a maximum of 15%. Uh, there's some, some theories on that. I would say maybe 12 to 13% is about the max you want to do into your 401k, and then potentially start diversifying your savings elsewhere. So... Bottom line, we want to have 10 to 12% of our savings or of our income going into the 401k. This just shows the power of doing 1% a year. So if we just were a level saver and we just saved all the way versus if we did 1% every single year, in this scenario that's drawn out below, it's about a half difference of a half a million dollars. So um, again, these just little incremental changes with time and the growth of the market and compounding interest can add up to a lot uh, by the time we get to retirement. Why do we want to save? Well, I think you guys are all pretty aware, you know, 40, Social Security is going to cover us a little bit. Hopefully it'll be there in the same form and fashion that it is, is today. Uh, but obviously, we to maintain our lifestyle, we've got to do a big bulk of it on our own. So um, again, it's pretty self-explanatory here, but uh, we've got to make sure that we're, we're saving outside of Social Security to supplement lifestyle as, as we get older. So. Um, get just more data on uh, why we need to save. This is a big one here, just talking about the, the power of compounding interest and, and how we can get started sooner. Essentially, we got Mary here who started at age 25 and stopped contributing at age 30, and Bill who started at 30 and went all the way to 65. Well, you can just see the power of starting early that Mary is still outpacing Bill just purely because of compounding interest and getting it going. So um, that's not to discourage somebody who is older from contributing, but um, again, the, the moral of the story here is start soon, start now, and just get this, get this vehicle chugging along. Um, this is another, the investing approach. There's two ways to go about it. One is you can do your own customized portfolio. If you're somebody that likes to be on E-Trade or Scott Trade or what have you and like to really tinker with, with your investment portfolio, there is a way to, do, to customize your own portfolio. If you're like me, where you want to just know that this is going to be well looked after, and it's going to be tailored to when you when you are retiring. There's something called the target date fund, and the target date fund is entering your target retirement date. And the closer that you get to retirement, it's going to downshift the risk of your portfolio. So it does it automatically. It does it on an annual basis. And so for myself, if I'm going to retire in 30 years, it's going to put me into a 2050 fund. And so that means, and as I get closer and closer to to the year 2050, the risk of the portfolio is going to go down. So the best way to take action is to just go on to securian.com backslash retirement. 
There's a tab for new user, register now. You're gonna enter in the uh, Prairie plan. For those of you that are here, we've got the, the flyers for you, but if you're doing it from a remote location, this is the plan number that you're gonna need. It takes 10 minutes, and I just, again, can't encourage you enough to just get signed up and start contributing immediately, because uh, just to take advantage of the, of the, of the match. Um, there's a couple of different ways to get enrolled, but this is what the enrollment page will look like. You just go down here to this new user register now tab. It'll walk you through some security questions and that's where you're gonna pick your contribution rate, your investment selection, and go from there. So um, this is a nice page too. This, this is a really educational piece. There's a whole bunch of information for you that you can use to help answer questions around retirement, help use a projection tool to say, how much am I gonna need in retirement? So uh, bottom line is Securian's got a, a lot for you in that area. And with that, uh, the other area that I'm here for Prairie is on the personal planning side. So any planning considerations you have, whether it's rolling over an old 401k into an individual IRA, looking at things like additional life insurance and disability insurance to complement the benefit that you have uh, through Prairie, I am here as a resource for you. So please do not hesitate to uh, email or call with any questions you have on your personal planning and how we can help optimize the offering that you have here today. So, thank you. Right. Does anybody have any questions? Um, one of the online questions was just, if they heard correctly on you, that you can do the step up for the 1%. So if they've already signed up for it, they can go back in and adjust that so that they can do the 1% step up, correct? Yes, you can, the nice thing with this website is you want to fiddle with it every day you can you can change your contributions you can change your investments and yeah you can go in and go out in terms of the uh, step up contribution as well so um, you can change it from pre-tax to Roth it's it's your money and it's there you'll find that the securing website is very easy to navigate perfect any other questions on 401k stuff all of our audience members anybody in the back questions no okay um, the other thing that I wanted to do is I want to do the drawing while we're here. Might as well get that so we have people that are witnessing that I'm going to just draw random people. <laughs> I mean, I might do that sometimes, but not today. Yeah. Random people that were online. Yep, I wrote everybody that was online and made comments in here as well. Um, so what all, I don't know how all of this is set up, who's what, where. So we have if you want to like shout out what it is and then I'll draw names and let people So we are drawing for a Oral B electronic toothbrush 2D action floss action. Okay, so if people online to hear it, it's a electric toothbrush. Yes. Perfect. So I'm not touching names. We'll let Sam do the first one there. Okay, we got. Can you read it? Bobby Latimer. Perfect. So Bobby, Bobby we'll put so that with that. Ticket with this. And I'll contact Thank everybody because I know not everybody's online. So what okay, do we got? Next we have this lovely 17 ounce stainless steel bottle from MetLife. Perfect. My right. Havana. Right. <laughs> here we go. The camera's up here so they can't even see it, but Sierra Harry. Sierra Harvey. 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 All right. Yes, good. Skin is right there. Yeah. <laughs> Put that in there. Sierra is there. <laughs> Next are these wonderful BB. Is that BB? BB. Sunglasses donated by VSP. Perfect. Here we go. Francesco Baruffi. Nice. nice. He's one of our online commenters. Great. So. Next is a amazing gift certificate from Marsh for $25 Visa gift card. Thank nice. you, Marsh. Sean McTeague. Awesome. All right. Next, we have a fabulous Prairie Field Services hoodie. 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 Not that one. Not this one. <laughs> Like one like this that doesn't say Jason on it. <laughs> Jim Young. Okay, Jim Young. Young. Perfect. And then, we have one more, right? Um, or two more? We have the um, Blue Cross.
across Blue Shield of Minnesota lovely scarf okay. for the upcoming blizzard. <laughs> Clay White. Mr. Clay White. All right. And last but not least, this amazing, tested with my own eyes this morning, um, light that is halogen. Halogen light. Halogen light. Perfect. Last but not least. That's the one places. I want. Is your name in here? Yes. Okay. Mary Hayes. Sorry. Right. Mary Hayes. Mary Hayes. Boo. 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 I mean, we're gonna ship that to you, Mary. Oh, Mary, oh, it's fantastic. Trust me. Yeah. Maybe you can buy it with me. Awesome. She's in Texas. So yeah, we'll send yeah. that to Mary in Texas because she did yeah, lots she of commenting online. Yeah. All right. So I, I think Mary's that's everything for it. online, guys. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. Um, well, yep. It is. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's bright. Wow. I'm it's signing amazing. off. It's amazing. Yeah.